Uh, also, thank you to Tanya Gurna for those well-considered um, words, and I hope you see as many prospective employees out there today <laughs> as I certainly do. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, professors, faculty and staff, distinguished guests, mums and dads, and to anyone else who ended up in here in search of free food, <laughs> it is an honour and privilege to provide today's students' address. Also, to friends and family who would love to have been here today, but for whatever reason could not be, we know that your thoughts are with us. To my fellow class of 2013, I say congratulations. We have made it, and in a few more minutes, we will be masters of public policy. But I think like many of you, I do not exactly know what this means. I would like to thank each and every one of you for an amazing two years. Whether it was in the classroom, late nights in the study room, even later nights in the depth of Berlin's nightlife, while sleeping on the roofs at retreats, or belting out bad karaoke at retreats, <laughs> welcoming the sunrise at house parties or on grad trips away, we have spent the last two to three years creating this class of 2013, and I feel very special and proud to be a part of it. For anyone that witnessed the speech that I gave in the student competition, you would know that I personified Hertie as my romantic partner and read aloud a letter breaking up with her. But I thought this speech was well written, eloquent, witty, and thought provocative. <laughs> it was later pointed out to me that if Hertie was my girlfriend, she was only eight years old. <laughs> and Suddenly the whole concept seemed wildly inappropriate for today. <laughs> so I would rather just share a few thoughts with you all today. <laughs> Firstly, in writing this speech, I've been reflecting on what it actually means to have an MPP. For sure in a moment we'll get a new piece of paper. That will become the new top line on our CV. And perhaps, if we're lucky, we'll even get a new job. Although, hopefully I'll be thanking Ann Fisher for that, my appointments book ne for next week. <laughs> on the Hertie website it says that with this MPP, we are now equipped in the bedrock, bedrock of the school's self-understanding uh, self and determination. Uh, I guess that's not much help. <laughs> Rather, I've come to the understanding that we've spent two years of our lives, 17,520 hours, working hard to become generalists. <laughs> now, <laughs> at first this might sound a little underwhelming. However, in seeking to come to terms with it myself, like every good research student, I consulted Wikipedia, where I was informed that a generalist is a person with a wide array of knowledge. Class of 2013, this already sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> Being scientifically certified as a generalist, you can now go to every prospective employer and prove that you know absolutely everything <laughs> about absolutely nothing. <laughs> However, we have learned a lot over the last two years. In economics, we learned that economists believe in the forces of supply and demand, that they are guided by an invisible hand that finds a beautiful equilibrium in competitive prices, and they should never be distorted by taxes or regulation. <laughs> Later we learned never ever to trust these economists. <laughs> in statistics we learned of t-tests, significant levels, and of one clear truth, that Michael Heron has an obsession with basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Public management taught us of cultural theory, regulation, and for our parental life, where to place the fruit bowl, such that our children will be nudged, if not manipulated, into eating oranges and not chocolate. <laughs> the bee club taught us of bees, the Spanish club taught us to salsa, and Dominic, Dominic taught us that it's only a truly great house party if you need to repaint the walls the next day. <laughs> oh wait, did we teach him that? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Finally, Mr. Johnny West, he taught us how to understand the English language as it was truly meant to be spoken. 
<laughs> Thanks for that, Giz. So we are not experts, but we are generalists. But this has many advantages. The broadness of our interests will take our career paths in many different directions. Whether it be fighting poverty working for the UN, restructuring energy systems, brokering peace, or improving education or food security. Working on these important challenges, as generalists, we will have a broadness in perspective that allows us to make a unique contribution, a contribution that is simply not possible from the narrow perspective of an expert. Now, if you're still not convinced, a quote from famous American comedian Steve Martin's biography, whom you may recognize from classics such as Father of the Bride and the Pink Panther, <laughs> may be helpful here, and that is, each of you will eventually use everything you have ever learnt. It will be interesting to see which one of us will be first faced with a literal prisoner's dilemma. <laughs> one of the things that made Hertie special for me, and for many others, was simply having the opportunity to spend time with such a wonderful group of people. Class of 2013, you are hardworking, you are passionate, you are considerate, and you are also fun. But most importantly, you share a common belief that as a society, we can do a little better. Many commencement speeches are used as an opportunity to provide us students with advice on how to behave in the real world. From my own experience and from the experience of others in here today, I consider this to be rubbish. <laughs> the working world is no more real, no more and no less real than the world we've been living in for the last two years. For those of you that are about to enter your first jobs, take the kindness and the hardworking attitude that you have displayed during your time here at Hertie, and I have no doubt that you will enjoy many successes. Or at the very least, you'll make friends while waiting in line for your unemployment benefits. <laughs> and the time spent living with your parents will be a little less painful for everyone involved. But before I finish, I know some of the, the, I won't be the first person to say, but probably won't be the last, but it's time for some important thank yous. To both Sasha and Alice, you've done an amazing job as student reps. <laughs> you worked hard right until the end, and always with a smile and positive attitude, and so we say thank you. Also to Eric, Karen, and Alex, the school's first official HSA board, I say a job very well done. <laughs> Thanks also, also to the retreat and party committees. I have absolutely no doubt that tonight will be a blast. <laughs> also thank you to the professors, faculty and staff. Without you, Hertie would indeed still be just a bankrupt department store. <laughs> but perhaps most importantly, we say thank you to the family and friends that are here today. Without your guidance and generosity, none of this would have been possible. So I have absolutely no idea what awaits any of us after today. For sure there will be some there will be successes and there will also be failure. There will be love, but unfortunately there will also be loss. But today I don't think anything of that really matters. Today is a celebration and I encourage you all to take the time to enjoy it. You are here with your families and you are here with your friends. These are the people that mean the most to us. So enjoy, the company, enjoy their company and savour the moment, because if tonight is like any other hurty party, I sincerely doubt any of you will feel as good tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.